Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Welcome back to the living room, your boy Looney here Oh, you always got that photo, do see it? Now, let's get back at 2X-Men where they broke my heart Last episode With the death of the beloved Gambit I have not recovered from that step but we are going to get in here to see what will be done about it. Because, yes, he's dead. I'm assuming, like, legit dead. But Gambit's died before in the comics. He's come back. Um, I remember my Facebook, when I still actually cared about Facebook years ago. My profile pic was a picture of Gambit as a member of Apocalypse's Four Horsemen. So that's my only hope. <laughs> Hopefully Apocalypse shows up and he brings Gambit back to life as a one of the writers of the of the one of the four writers of the Apocalypse. That's what I'm hoping for. Don't know if that's what I'm gonna get. But they killed off my boy Gambit. Uh, Magneto Kennedy's dead. Uh, I don't know his body. They didn't. We didn't see a body in. We only saw a body of Gambit. We lost a lot of people. So let's get back in and see what the hell we're gonna do because that was a lot of death. I don't even know if I have any will to dance on the intro song because I am so hurt off of losing my boy. But if you like, comment, subscribe. Your famous is down in the description box below. My eye hurts. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> oh, bother. They took my boy Gambit out the intro! Did Charles just stand up with Lalandra? Charles was not dead. I didn't believe he was dead in the beginning. Life Death Part 2. The Shia Empire! Is under attack? Ooh! Surrender? No, just perish. Indeed. This pigeon! Is that Ronin? For the Imperial Gladiator? He is such a beast. He's just like he you can't really stop him or beat him unless you like his his power is connected to his confidence. So as long as he feels he can beat you, he has a chance. We do not be honored to fall at my feet, Ronan. Okay, it is Ronan. You, gladiator. Ronan dear. <laughs> this is the Ronan I'm more used to. A lot of y'all are used to the Ronan from um Guardians of the Galaxy, this is how your I'm forces to shall bitch. suffer. A million pardons, your highness. You dare interrupt my glorious moment? Yeah. Charles Xavier. Professor Charles Xavier. The mind fuck is complete. Does that suit give him the ability to walk? Or did they fix the spot? Nearly visit. See their faces. Look at those horse creatures! Yeah, he wants to go back to his children. I'm waiting for him to say something about the children of the Atom, which he used to say a lot in the comics. That's what he referred to his X-Men. It was like, my X-Men or my children of the Atom. And I, it's very important that we get at least one Charles Xavier. Ah! He had a lot of those in the original series. Now that he's back, I want one. Look at Lalonde just still looking fine as all hell. The virtue of a teacher lies in showing their students how to walk on their own. Ooh. I want to know what that bite did. Look at his goddamn shoulder. Your bite is a sort of demonic infection. Mm. Once the venom reaches his heart, leave him. Where did that get you? Kissing the hand that beats you? Damn. That is a disrespectful <laughs> ass comment. They are pulling no. Whoa. She's claustrophobic. Not fear death. But you fear in closed spaces. Yo, back this on is these terrifying shit. Yeah, get him, Forge. I turn. Holy shit! 
And that's how Beast Forge is. She wrote about a cacti, the Midnight Chala, grows in nearby caves. We have to find that. We must save Forge at all costs. He's too important to the goddamn future. If I am your pet, hmm. not an entirely displeasing thought. Hush now, beloved. There is some freaky shit. Let me find out uh, Professor X likes to get pegged would see his Milky Way ghetto become our new throne Milky world. Way ghetto. For real though. This heifer needs to be slapped. I must invoke the right of Emdasha. Oh. Invoke it then. You must renounce Earth and erase all memory of your life there. That's, is a formidable psychic. that's, that's a lot. At all. I don't know how the hell you're expecting to wipe the mind of Charles Xavier. To bind various cultures into one for the sake of galactic peace and harmony. Okay, so y'all need to let this go down then! Oh, I'm so sorry, Aurora, for drawing the adversary. The demon was not your doing. Indeed. No matter how many I saved, my mutant gifts inspired twice as much hate in humanity. Thankfully, you finally see this, Storm. Forge is not trying to do any harm to you. Renounce her before her lovesick lunacy destroys us all. Sedition. Yeah. <laughs> yes! You never had a chance. I have forgotten my greatest gift. About time. Here, class is now in session. And he's rocking the suit. Now pay attention. It is time for today's lesson. Yo, he's literally teaching them to shut them the fuck down. How dope is that? Every teacher in the world wishes they had that ability. <laughs> Stop, you pancaked by the pressure of existing. Yo, the head just doing the 360 turns is fucking disturbing. You got this Storm though. And I will For those who don't know, yeah, Storm is severely claustrophobic from her time in Africa. Go ahead, girl, get out! Play dead, or humanity will thunder down upon you and your kind. You Is the same actress who does voice, who does the voice for Storm, do the voice for this demon? Thunder. Indeed. I am lightning. Yes, you all. Oh, look at her hair growing. She's rocking the, oh my God, yo. That's the storm I first encountered as a child. That's the outfit. Oh, I love that outfit on storm. The white outfit was dope, but this is storm to me. We forget about Forge though. Within us, hide from loved ones, even as they finally heal our adversary. Damn. Can I, can I get that and smear some right here? You've been given a second chance. Should we whisk mm -hmm. away to some squeak, tropical squeak. island? Mills that house inferior minds such as yours. Demerits. He's rocking your so mind bad. right now. Like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the rhyme that sells the lie that we must pillage worth from one another. Mm. That for me. There's some real shit being said in here. No one's probably listening to it because it's a cartoon. Yes. Born of ancient stardust and all children of the atom. He said children of the atom. No, not Gambit. Children of the atom. We're children of the atom, yes. No! No! It is time I return. To my X-Men. It is! This shit is fucked up. Severely. I did what you asked. I gave you my DNA to access Master Mold. <laughs> Kill me, please. Don't take all the blame, Oliver. Mrs. Sinister's still around. Why, Genosha was merely the beginning of a prologue. And place your faith in Sinister. <laughs> Sinister can't help himself, can he, yo? He just can't help himself. Another episode down to X-Men. Um, not a lot happened as far as um, 
referencing what happened to Gambit. Besides the ending there with Charles, my children of the atom, you know, um, glad to hear him scream. Ah! You know, I'm sorry. Like, if you grew up with the original X Men <laughs> animated series, those are some of the most. That's when you knew shit was getting real. When Charles Xavier either passed out, screamed, or just in some way was letting us know he was in pain. That's when you know shit was getting real. So. Storm is back, she has her abilities. I think that was the same actress who does the voice of Storm, who did, who did the uh, the Owl Demon. Because the way certain words were said had a semblance, a similarity in the uh, vocal pattern. So that was cool there. Um, life Death, I wish we could have just got Life Death as one episode. I don't know why it had to be split up in so many different parts, like it shared it shared an episode with Charles finding out shit's going bad on Earth. And I think part one was split with, I don't remember. So we'll move on from that. But I'm telling you, I wish I wish Life Death could have been just one episode by itself. It seems like it was about 20 minutes long. So, oh, yeah, they split it with that dumbass Mojo episode, which I hate Mojo, so I didn't like that. Um, but it was dope seeing Storm in her original outfit that I first saw her in. You know, that white suit, which was in the original show, was dope, but that was more of the Jim Lee drawings. Um, I don't remember who, who was the anime, I uh, said animator, who was drawing the comics during the Chris Claremont run, because there's probably a couple of them, but the original show was straight up Jim Lee's um, visual portrayal of them but I'm happy to see the original storm that I first encountered in um, X-Men Pride of the X-Men where she had on the black that's the suit that I'm used to her wearing in the comics the most I don't think they'll ever put that in the movie because so much skin is shit <laughs> but I love it she's gorgeous with whatever color brown they're using same color as well. but I love seeing that Forge being saved. I would love to know what the hell was in that. Um, it wasn't a coconut. What what the hell did they say it was? Pineapple? I don't remember. Porcupine? Who cares? Whatever it was, it put that shit on a minute, like absorbed, and the whole thing was just gone. I was kicking. We had that. Take me to that cave. I'll climb up there and get it. Shit, take me four days, but I'll do it. For full, just health. Come on. But being reminded of Gambit's death, seeing the green flash. Here's my thing. Here's the one thing I'm just realizing. Magneto's not dead. Look how he saw Gambit. At the earlier in the episode when he was talking to Gladiator, he explicitly stated his oldest friend, Magnus. Because once again, if you don't know why he calls Magneto Magnus, it's because at the time when the original TV show was on, they had not revealed Magneto's true name. So they just had Charles call him Magnus. They have, they're keeping this up because that's what he did back then. But after the sh like sometime after the show is when we found out his real name was Eric Lynchur. He, you know, and he's been that ever since. But this show is just killed. It's keeping the continuity of um, Charles calling him Magnus, which is quite interesting and funny. So, but overall, that was dope. Nice seeing Gladiator. I, I, I want to see Gladiator fight somebody that, that affects his confidence again. Because that's when Gladiator is kind of funny to me. When his confidence is wavering, he's not as beastly as he comes off. He's another Marvel version of Superman, but his weakness is his own confidence. So that was dope seeing him. Lelandro was looking good. Deathbird was looking good, but she really didn't have really much to say besides just trying to find a backdoor way to get the goddamn throne. But this was a good episode. It wasn't as good as episode five. Um, episode five, I don't know how they were going to be able to even compete with that, being perfectly honest, because just, of, just because of what happened. That was sheer destruction. That's probably going to go down as the top episode of this season. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in the next episode. I think this is a 10 episode season. So that was episode six. So we got four episodes left. I mean, let's just keep going, babe. But let me know in the comments. Is Magneto dead? Magneto did not show up in Charles's 
oh my god I would assume even though Magneto technically is an adversary that he would still show up as one of his close people who just died like Gambit just showed up so for me Magneto's still alive somewhere can't wait to see where he is how fucked up is he because that was a massive blast that he took and fact of this if that blast which that robot or that master mode sentinel knew he was omega level so it put a omega level blast out if magneto was still alive and it didn't get him how powerful is he and that's where i'll leave you Moving out. Go, 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 go.